Welcome to Nucanic. Today here in Nucanic we have a 2020 Buick Enclave and on this Buick Enclave it's got the 3.6 liter motor with the V6 engine. Um, we have our check engine light is on and we are we have read the codes and so we have a code and we're going to uh, locate that sensor to be able to uh, go through the process of how you would replace that sensor. Alright, so we have our OBD2 scanner hooked up, uh, the UCAN-2, and we've read the codes, and we came back with three different codes of uh, plausible reason, and two of these codes are they're talking about the same exact sensor, so we're going to rule to that sensor itself. But we have a P00C7-00, and that's the intake air pressure ma measurement system, is saying that we have some uh, multiple sensors that may not be working correctly. Then we have the P0106-00, that's the manifold absolute pressure sensor performance isn't working right, sometimes otherwise called the MAT sensor. Then we have the P0108-00, that's the manifold absolute pressure, uh, the MAP sensor also saying that we have some voltage issues going on with that. So we are going to locate the MAP sensor, or the absolute, manifold absolute pressure sensor, and be able to replace that to be able to see if that will fix it. The symptom on this is you still have, you have a little bit of lack of the throttle response um, when you need to go. So let's go through and find that sensor and be able to replace it. All right, so we have our engine cover here. We will need to remove that engine cover. There's a T30 bolt right down in here that you undo. And then you have to twist off the um, um, oil cap to be able to pull this cover. So once you've done that, then you'll be able to um, remove this cover. That aside. The sensor that we are looking for is right back here on the back. It's on the intake manifold unit itself, and that is where the map sensor is. Okay, so you'll see this sensor right here. This is the one that we are going for. G25 bolt to undo that, and one electrical clip that we need to undo. We've got the red um, safety lock that we need to press back. Once you do that, then you'll be able to press the, the release clip down and be able to unhook that electrical connector. Then with your T25, and we are in a little bit of a tight quarter, so you'll need something that you can get in here. We removed that T25 bolt, and now we'll be able to pull out this sensor. That is our one map sensor that we have removed. So then you will take your new map sensor and be able to put it back in there. And uh, put a little bit of lubricant on the O-ring to be able to go in. Make sure that the old O-ring was on the old one when it came out so that you're not um, pressing it in there and then have foreign debris that is inside your intake system. So we have the sensor uh, depressed in there, and now I'm going to put the screw back in, tighten it in there. All right, tightened up, good to go, and now just be able to uh, reconnect that electrical connector, and then uh, put your uh, engine cover back on, and then. Um, also, go ahead and through your OBD2 scanner, we can dash two. You can erase and clear that code out. Uh, run your vehicle like you normally do. Drive it for a week or so, and make sure that the light doesn't come back on, and that it's not the same uh, same codes and or sensor, where that you maybe need to look for some other issues that are causing that to go off. And some of that would be that maybe you've got a vacuum line or anything that has come undone that is making it have a misreading between of how much pressure it has in its spec going through this intake manifold system. Thank you for watching Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.